Surely when you have gone to the beach, you have noticed how the water level changes during the day. You know that if you leave your personal belongings very close to the sea, during the afternoon the waves are likely to reach them. But have you ever wondered why this happens? It is clearly related to tidal forces. To understand them, we must first explain what the force of gravity is and how it works. In July 1687, Isaac Newton published his book Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy, where, among many other natural phenomena, he explained gravitational forces and the way in which these occur between two or more bodies with mass. Newton deduced that the force of attraction was directly proportional to the product of its masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. That is, the more mass an object has and the closer it is, the greater the force it exerts on another. On the contrary, if a body is small and in a very distant place, the gravitational force it will produce will be very small. This force, together with inertia, allow our solar system to remain in an almost perfect balance. Maybe now you are wondering, well, but what does all this have to do with my things getting all wet on the beach? Well, it turns out that the moon, and also the sun, although to a lesser extent, exert a gravitational force on the Earth. Notice that the gravitational force produced by the Moon is approximately 1 million times weaker than that produced by the Earth. So this gravitational force requires a volume of water large enough like the oceans to cause considerable and perceptible displacement. These forces of attraction create a bump of water at each end of the Earth caused by the Sun and the Moon. The Earth rotates on its own axis once every 24 hours. This rotation causes different parts of the planet to enter and leave these bumps causing the water level to rise and fall throughout the day. At the extremes where the tide is high, it is known as high tide, and the extremes where the tide is low, is known as low tide. Every day we have two high tides and two low tides, one every six hours. The tide caused by the moon is equivalent to approximately from two-thirds to three-quarters of the total tide while the sun generates the rest. As we have seen in the previous video, contrary to what many people think, whether it is a full moon or not does not affect the tide in any way, since it is a gravitational effect. However, when we observe a full moon, it coincides that the sun is exactly at the opposite side of the moon which causes the forces produced by both to add up, making the tide higher at that time. This high tide is known as a spring tide. Now we know when you have the highest tide, but you may be wondering when would we have the lowest? We have already seen that when both forces are aligned on the same axis, they add up, so we will have the lowest tides when these bodies are not aligned with each other. This is we will have the lowest tide when the force exerted by the moon is exactly 90 degrees from that exerted by the sun. This low tide is also known as nip tide. In some parts of the world the tide is much more noticeable than in others, and this is mainly due to the shape and geometry of the coastline. This means that in a place where the sea moves with complete freedom, the increasing level can be something gradual. But sometimes, where there is a physical barrier that prevents the passage of water, such as rivers and estuaries, a phenomenon known as tidal bore can occur. This is a wave that travels at high speed while increasing the level of water. The tide with the largest level changes in the world occurs in the Bay of Fundy in Nova Scotia, Canada. In that place, the water level varies by up to 13 meters between high tide and low tide, as you can see in this video. Awesome, isn't it? Now you understand the basic principles of how tides occur and when you can expect them. We hope you liked the video and all your comments about it are welcome. If you want to help us in some way, we invite you to subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you very much and see you next time.